it's a this is a, a very beautiful old tree from way way back it's a tree called Tanikaha. a lot of people know know it as celery pine so if you have a look at these leaves you'll see they're all warm colors and they they're, they're to do with our blood so our blood is to do with our um, ancestral connection even actually to do with our spine this tree has a lot to do with our spinal alignment and our alignment energetically as well um, and can even help we align people physically like if you put your back out so what does Tane Kaha mean? Tane is man and Kaha is strong so it's strong man or you know strong one um, so it's all about um, a really good, well I won't tell you too much, but a really good exercise to do with the tree, with this tree, is to, um, I guess, start to feel into what kind of support you're feeling in terms of, you'll, you'll feel a lot um, with your ancestral support or with your blood whakapapa, so it's all to do with your whakapapa, your lineage, where you've come from in so many different ways, um, not just blood, um, on spiritual levels as well. So this tree can bring in different lines of work for you or different ways of being in your life and um, help you support yourself through whatever's happening um, to do with your backbone. And it's, it, it's uh, one that really helps your life force as well. So you might notice that in different ways through the week. Um, Tanika has got an amazing ability to clean your blood. So if you have a, a close look at the leaves, um, you'll, you'll be able to see that they actually don't look like normal leaves at all, and that's why it got the name celery pine. Um, so they're, they're called modified leaves. Scientists call them modified leaves. Um, when you boil this plant up, you'll notice also that it goes the color of blood. It goes like a deep red color. Um, very special plant. Uh, it's been a, of, a few experiments to do with um, helping with hepatitis. I did help a man a few years ago for about a year. His hepatitis um, blood cell counts went way down from taking Tanakaha. So amazing properties. I've only told you a little bit, believe it or not. Um, so one of the best things to do is if you got the plant growing around you, again, is, is dream with the plant. You can also wear the plant on you during the day, like stick it inside your shirt or in, in a pocket. Um, and there might be random things that you feel like writing down or you might notice different songs or different thoughts as you journey with the plant and um, use the, the drops under your tongue as well. And a really good place to put the drops is on top of your head and anywhere along your spine and at the bottom of your spine and the bottom of your feet because to do with that alignment, to do with that earth connection. So really good to do with um, visualizations to do with connecting to the center of the earth and also the star system and feeling your alignment through that and, and how centered you can be through that. So that's some ideas and um, I'll write you more and we'll speak at the end of the week.